hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new and here welcome my name is kiki i post videos on lifestyle vlogs travel adventure and yummy mommy baby content i also have nine months old twin boys jamil and jubril so go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos from me and do not forget to turn on post notification to get notified every time i post a new video without further ado let's get into this one so we traveled with the twins for the first time to Houston from Chicago. It was quite a ride. We learned some lessons and I wanted to share them all with you. I also, I am going to be doing a separate video on the checklist of items to make sure that you pack when you're traveling with infants. And I am going to post our Houston vlog in a separate video as well. But let me share some of our experiences with you. We had a few bags. I had my personal bag and my husband had his and then I had the baby's diaper bag. I did not want to pack too much because we had two separate airlines. We had American Airlines to get into Houston, but our return flight was Spirit. If you're familiar with Spirit, you know you cannot have a lot of stuff with them. So because of that, I wanted to limit the number of bags that we had. I had to pack the twins' clothes in my bag so that their diaper bag could fit in everything else. Yes, best believe it. I fit everything in that diaper bag. And one of the lessons I learned is do not pack your baby's bottles, especially if you have the Dr. Brown's bottles. Do not put it on the side pocket of the diaper bag. We lost, I think, maybe three or four maybe three or four um, cover to the baby's bottles during this trip because somehow, I don't know if it's because the diaper bag was tight, but the covers kept falling off. Sorry guys, so little Mister just woke up and he's crying for mommy, so he's gonna be in this video, right? <laughs> oh, you so cute. So, I read online that American Airlines um, would not let you check in a stroller that's past 20 pounds at the gate and that you have to check it in at the ticket counter. But thank God I did not exactly like just take that as an answer. Once we got to the airport, I went straight to the ticket counter and checked us in and I asked the lady if we could check in our double stroller at the gate instead because it will be very difficult for us to hold our children um, through security and all the way to our gate. There's two of them and we had all these personal bags that we have. So of course, they allowed us to do that. We were able to check in their stroller at the gate rather than at the ticket counter. So I wanna tell you guys, if you are ever in that situation, make sure you talk to the staff, make sure you ask questions because you never know. A lot of times they're very accommodating when they see that you have children because they know that it's a little bit difficult to transport them while in a carrier or while you're holding them. So I did pack our carriers, but honestly, we didn't really need it. I know for moms of single babies, it might be easier for you to just carry the baby like that instead of having a stroller. But I know with her bags, with three bags and two babies, I, I knew it'd be kind of difficult for my husband and I to hold them and hold the bags. So the stroller was very helpful. Getting through security, it was our first experience, but I think it wasn't too bad. Only issue is the babies were hungry. And so we, I made their bottles real quickly before we got to the security line. So, but, and then they started fuzzing while we were on the line. So of course we went ahead and fed them. We were moving through the line while feeding the babies. Because of the way our stroller was set up, they could not hold the bottles themselves. So I had to bend over and my husband and I actually, we were both like interchanging. I would bend over, he would bend over to make sure that the babies are getting their milk um just because because of the strollers we had the big boy strollers and they were not able to hold the bottles up because they had like eight ounces of milk in each one so he was too heavy for them to hold for the first time i learned that you are able to get the milk through security you know on a normal day they don't let you take liquid with you when you're passing security 
but we were able, you can get your baby's formula through security. You put it in a separate bin and they have it tested separately. They have a bunch of rules. It will differ depending on the state you're traveling from. But yes, you can travel with formula. They tested it and once it was okay, they gave us back our bottles. So once we got through security, the dad and I kind of interchanged, pushing them. Our gate was very far from the security post once we got in. So we had quite a long walk while we were in there. So definitely um, the stroller helped with, you know, moving the babies and Jamil, once we got to our gate, you know, things were kind of easier from there. Um, of course, we checked the stroller in at the gate. So that was our experience with the American airline. Once we got off the plane, they had the stroller waiting for us like right there in front. So we just held the babies to get out there and then we just took our stroller and strapped them back in and just get ourselves out of the airport. In the airplane, it was not too bad. Of course, both of the kids had moments where they were a little fuzzy, um, but thankfully they did not do it at the same time. They were alternating. Like when Jamil was calm, Jabril was fuzzy. And when Jabril was calm, Jamil was fuzzy. But they both took naps. They didn't have any issues being in an airplane. Jamil actually made a friend. Um, a lot of people, you know, as usual, were interested because they were twins. If you're traveling with two infants, most airlines would not let you sit together with your spouse because of weight. However, we got lucky when we were going because Jamil and I were in a row by ourselves in the front. So of, of course, I spoke with one of the staff of American Airlines and I asked if my husband could come to our row because I was at the aisle and the middle and the window seat were empty. So of course he said yes. And my husband and Jabril joined us. So we all had that row, that three seats. We had it to ourselves. So it was easier for us to switch babies back and forth to keep their toys where they could reach it and stuff like that. It is possible for you to lose a couple of things. We lost one of their favorite toys for Jamil at the airport. He must have dropped it while we were pushing them in the stroller and we did not notice. So we lost that and we lost some bottle covers. And I think that's pretty much all we lost. The plane was not too bad. They would sleep back and forth. And a lot of times Jubril, when he was awake, he wanted to look outside and actually see what's going on. I thought that was very, you know, that was nice. He was curious to see everything. Spirit Airlines did us bad because once we got to Chicago, they took our stroller to baggage claim. So we had to hold the babies uh, from when we got off the plane to baggage claim. It was ridiculous. And once we got to baggage claim, we didn't even know that there was a separate area for, uh, for the strollers. We were waiting there and all these bags were coming. We couldn't find our stroller. But thankfully, I noticed this part and I was just like, I think it's over there. So my husband and my sister, my sister flew with us. My husband and my sister um, went ahead and of course got our stroller back to us. It was very helpful that we had an additional person when we were coming back. If there is anything that I'm missing, I will put it in the description below. If you like this video, do not forget to comment, share Click on the like button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications to get notified when I post new videos. Do not forget to rise and let your light shine. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.